Hey there, welcome back to a new video and I'm Yakshit Madan and in this video we are going to continue with the NumPy complete tutorial playlist and in this video we are going to see the array slicing operations which are very very important. So first of all, slice an array, we have to create an array, right? That's why I'm using arrange function and I'm printing all the values from 1 to 51. That is 1 to 50, right? Because 51 will not be included. And I'm storing this array into a variable and I'm reshaping that array in uh, 10 rows and 5 columns list, right? And then I'm going to print it. So this all I've already taught in the previous part. So you can check that out, right? So this is the array, final array, A, that I'm getting it, right? Now after this, I want to print this first row. So as you can see, this is array of arrays. So these are many, many arrays, right? So and each array is having an index. So first array is having zero index and then one, then two, then three, then four, like this, right? So I am interested in printing this array. So this will be A at zero, right? So A at zero is going to be my first array. So one, two, three, four, five, like this. Now I want to print the second uh, index array. That means zero, one, and two. So what will be printed? 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. This array will be printed like this. Now what will be printed if I print A at zero comma zero? So first it will go for, so, so first it will go till A at zero. So A at zero is this array. Now it will print the zeroth index element of this array. That means it one will be printed, right? So a at zero comma zero means one, right? So this is a location of one, right? Now I want to print the element at three comma four. So it will go in third row. So zero, one, two, three. That means this row and the fourth element index, fourth index element, right? So zero, one, two, three, and four. Twenty will get printed, right? So let's see. 20. Perfect. Now, what does this uh, colon represent? So, A at 2 to 5, that means second row to fifth row. So, it will go and print the rows from second index to fourth index because fifth will not be included. So, 0, 1 and 2, that means it will start from here, 3, 4 and 5, it will go till here. So, 2, 3 and 4 will be printed. So, 11, 16 and 21 uh, rows. So 11, 16 and 21 rows will be printed. So this is the significance of printing the rows from starting index to ending index, right? Excluding this index. Now I'm printing all the rows, 0 to 10. So all rows will be printed. Now it doesn't mean uh, that if I write uh, 11 over here and you will get an error. This is not the case. If you will write 100 over here, still you will get these 10 rows only, right? Because rest of the rows does not exist, right? So this is the case. Now, this is how you print certain rows, right? So you define a starting index, you define an ending index and you print the rows, right? Now the next case is you are defining comma. So this first thing, first colon is for the rows. Now if you define comma over here, now second thing will be for columns, right? So let's see what I'm defining. So this only, this colon means all the rows, right? And this two means the second column. So the second column is 0, 1 and 2. This this uh, this column will be printed and all the rows of this column will be printed, right? Because I have written just a column. So this, the meaning of this line is all the rows of this column, second column, right? So as you can see, 3, 8, 13, 18, 3, 8, 13, 18. So this column is getting printed. Now I can also print certain rows of this column. We are going to see it. Now this thing means 2 to 5. That means certain rows is from row uh, second row to fifth row of this column fourth column 0 1 2 3 and 4 that means this column the last column and 2 3 and 4 right because fifth is not included so 0 1 2 that means it will start from 15 20 and 25 15 20 and 25 will be printed so 15 20 and 25 will be printed i hope you are getting and if you have any doubts you can reach out to me on my telegram channel right so free feel to feel free to ask right now this thing means all rows and all columns if you are not defining any integer uh, uh, alongside with the column that means all the rows all the columns right so this is the case now this thing means all the rows from second column to the fourth column right so second column 0 1 2 it will start from here 3 this column and fifth that means 3 uh, 0 1 2 3 and 4 3, 4 and 5. These three columns will be printed and all the rows of these three columns will be printed, right? Because I have not defined anything with this thing. So 
all the rows of these three columns. Now the next thing is you can also check the data type of this uh, rows or the columns, right? So you will get in 64, right? So this is the case and I hope you are clear with it and this much is enough for this video. Till the next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.